Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Colorado Buffaloes and the Colorado State Rams. Hope you're ready to party, folks, because these two rivals are going to do some dancing tonight, baby. You couldn't fantasize about a better matchup at a better time and a place like this. This is where the bad blood comes out and the intensity is raised. You said it, Dick. It's going to be wild in here tonight. The Rams might be looking at the fight of the season tonight, Dick. Any particular keys to victory for them? For them to win tonight, the keys are as follows. First of all, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. Second, make good passes and force the other team to play honest defense. And finally, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. We thought this game would be a sellout, Dick, and it's not. I'll tell you, a lot of empty seats here. It's only half full. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. He shoots from the top of the circle. Sinks it. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. And the ball goes out of bounds. He'll regroup the offense. Jumps into the defender. And he scores despite the hack. Number 32 with the fake. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. Let's take a look right here. Nice high post screen. Inside. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He fakes the shot for the bucket. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Too much. That's a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He steps up to the line. First one is good. Two at the charity strike. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. There's a high screen. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. With the pair. It goes in. Both free throws go. He keeps the dribble as they reset. They'll work it around the arc. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. 
That's one you take for the team, Brad. With the free one. Routine. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Tickles a twine. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Tries for two. Up and in. Shows patience waiting for the reset. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. He shoots from the elbow. He gets the bucket. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He goes to the line, shooting two. Misses it. Everybody has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Isn't it great, Brad? On the dribble, gives it up. Jeffrey is emotionally pumped up. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Look at that spacing. Bed the low block. Stolen away. Brought the ball back down to the floor and he stripped them. And up. Perfectly executed. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Moving it around the perimeter. A little frustration right there. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential to the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Up and inside. The center takes the feed. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. The small forward gets the ball. Inside, the center takes the pass. He fires it up. That was nice. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Goes for the deep one. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? They work the perimeter. From right in the circle, way off target. Trying to draw some contact. you got to let the offense play into the double. Yeah, they may be forcing the double a little bit. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He looks at the hoop. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Trying to pack it inside. Turns it over. The point guard with the ball. 
On the outside, the ball goes out of play. Out of out of just play, son, just play. Let your game do the taunting. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Looking for a good shot. The power forward gets the pass. There's a double team waiting there. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And the ball goes out of play. They come with a double team to stop it. Gave it up. A high screen. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Tell me to save the play of the night, Brad. With the fake. Nice fake. There's the trap. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He tries the three ball. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. Takes away the pass. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For two, Colorado State are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. For the bucket. And he missed. There it is, Jam City. Great anticipation defensively. On the outside, he throws it up from downtown. He hits the tough shot. Mate's knocking him down with ease, Brad. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Fakes it. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job with a ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. On the dribble, gives it up. Strips him clean. Looking for a screen on top and got it. He shoots from the angle. Colorado are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He tries to knock down the three, makes it. <laughs> and
Entry pass in the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. And a momentary look from three-point land. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Hard foul. Aaron, you've got one of the best places to sit in the whole building. Uh, how's it look in this rivalry game here in the first half from your viewpoint? Guys, the action on the court just not what we expected so far tonight. A lopsided affair emotion-wise. We'll have to monitor this the rest of the way. All right, thanks, Aaron. Great play to take that to the basket. Double team from downtown. Got it. And now they'll bring it up. Strips the ball. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball faith, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Intercepted. On the outside. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. For two, perfectly executed. Look at that spacing. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. High post flashes for the opportunity. And one too many dribbles and a steal. They move it into the front court. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Well, you have to get it earlier than that. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Gave it up in the paint. Double team now, bad angle. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He dials long distance. Oh, yes. There's a double team waiting there. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. They'll work it around the arc. Got the high pick. Puts it up. Drains it. They 
They work the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing the ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. The fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Takes the shot, scorches the net. For two, and in and out. There's the screen up on top. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Dump it inside. Fake. For the bucket. And he missed. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. We need to see that again, Brad. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Tries for two. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. I tell you, uses the ball really well, too. In terms of putting it to the deck, turns, spins. He's got every move in the book. Looking for contact. Perfectly executed. For two, doesn't go. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. On the inside, good fake. For the bucket, they still don't score. Got it. He gets the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of it. Number 34 steps in for the first time tonight. This may or may not have been the right substitution at this point, Brad. off the lazy pass. I 
I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He tries to beat the clock. Great shot. At halftime, the Rams trail by 13. This has been a good one so far, folks. Dick, what's your take as the highlight of the half? The shot with the time running out in the half. Bam! That's my highlight, baby. Let's get back down to the action where it looks like the two teams are all set to start the second half. Richardson couldn't really get it going in the first half, Dick. And they're suffering big time because of it, Brad. It's going to take more than just him to climb back into this game. Dick, you start off a second half, and those first few minutes are so important. You've always told me that. Well, I'll tell you, you better protect the basketball and get good shots. That's essential. You don't want to turn the ball over early. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Richardson is admired by the fans. Listen to that ovation. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. <laughs> Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Puts up the shot. That's good. The Buffaloes are ahead by 13. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on the defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He attempts the trifecta. Off the rim and no good. Easy one. Play that back for me one time. Had a momentary look from three-point land. They work it around the perimeter. Tries one from three-point land. Sinks the shot. Looking for a good shot. Almost lost the basketball. Unloads a three. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He shoots from the baseline. Aggressively grabs the ball. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The ball goes out of bounds. High post flashes for the ball handler. Applying pressure. On the dribble, gives it up. Ten on the shot clock. That was nice. The Rams trail by 17. Will take the shot. Way off target. For the bucket. That was awesome, baby! Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely, getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Arm and foul. 
Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Lobs it. Trying to draw the foul. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Up. Easy one. Gave it up. For two, perfectly executed. The Buffaloes lead by 17. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He ran his man into the screen and dropped in a beautiful bucket. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop yeah, step, very slow. On the dribble, gives it up. Set that screen away. Basket falls despite the contact. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. The pass is stolen. Hey, he got a clean break on it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Shoots it. He nails the bucket. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. On the outside, gave it up. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. For the bucket, Colorado is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Working around the perimeter. He shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. Count it and the foul. That's how he likes it, baby. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. Number 32 subs back in. Hey, that little breather may just have been what the doctor ordered. Is that how they say it? That's saying, bro. No good. He cleans the glass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Let's it fly. You bet you. As the chance persists. Well, ultimately the goal is to win. The crowd feels as though they are a big part of it too.
definitely a foul. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Makes it. Low block, tries for two, can't get the shot to go. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Launches away, it sticks. The Rams are trailing by 18. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. That's basic. Steals a pass. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Picked out of the air. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Way off target. On the outside. Defense giving some room. Drains it. On the dribble, gives it up. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, try to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Goes up for two, and in and out. Challenging like that really makes the offense think twice about putting the shot up. It's really almost as good as a block. Moving it around the perimeter. On the inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Jumped in front to take it away. They work the perimeter. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Gets it back out. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Now they work it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. Working it around the perimeter. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Puts it up. Off the rim and no good. Well, we didn't have a close game in the first half, Aaron, and it's not getting any closer here in the second half. This one looks like it might be over. Well, guys, during the half, both coaches stressed it's the little things. Turnovers, fouls, poor shooting. It's taking its toll here in the second half, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. That's an 8-0 run. Fix 
Picks off the pass. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He shoots from the top of the key. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. to hit the floor. Pressure that basketball. There he is, strips the ball loose. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. On the outside. And a momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from the elbow. Way off target. He shoots from right of the circle. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Basket's good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when he needed a baby. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Free throw is good. That's 16 unanswered. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Wow, what hops, baby. What hops. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. For the bucket, perfectly executed. <laughs> Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Rams are down by 36. away the pass. Fans are still waiting for something big to happen. Dump it inside. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. a good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. These guys are scoring at will. Hey, the defense has fallen and they can't get up, baby. They work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Can't get the shot to drop. They work the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Let's look at it again.
Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Intercepted. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Gave it up. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. There's the trap. Oh, what a strip, Red. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Blocks it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Double team now, bad angle. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Puts it up. He gets the bucket to fall. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Up and inside. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. With plays like that, you need instant replay. Picks off the lazy pass. Shot clock is dead. On the dribble, gives it up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Gave it up. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. You look ahead to the next time these two teams play, Dick, and you can't expect it to go like it did tonight. Well, everybody was really keyed up, expecting a great game, but they got the great start early, and that was it. It was blowout city. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Colorado State find themselves humiliated in this blowout loss. They were clearly outplayed in almost every aspect of the game. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.